The Earth has two icy extremes, the Arctic and the Antarctic. These regions, though both characterized by ice and snow, are remarkably different. The Arctic is a frozen ocean surrounded by continents, while the Antarctic is a frozen continent surrounded by oceans. This fundamental difference shapes the climate, wildlife, and ecosystems of each region. They hold a special fascination, capturing our imagination with their beauty and their importance to the planet's delicate balance. The Arctic is known for its stunning Aurora Borealis, a natural light display that paints the sky with vibrant colors. In contrast, the Antarctic offers breathtaking sunsets that cast a golden glow over the icy landscape. Understanding these differences and similarities is key to appreciating the unique role each region plays. The Arctic and Antarctic are home to distinct species that have evolved to thrive in their respective environments. For instance, the Arctic is inhabited by polar bears, Arctic foxes, and various species of seals, while the Antarctic is the domain of penguins, seals, and whales. These frozen landscapes, seemingly barren at first glance, team with life uniquely adapted to survive in these extreme conditions. In the Arctic, you can find resilient plant life like mosses and lichens, which can endure the harsh climate. Meanwhile, the Antarctic waters are rich with krill, a crucial food source for many marine animals. From polar bears roaming the Arctic ice, hunting for seals and navigating the ever-changing ice flows, to penguins waddling across the Antarctic tundra, huddling together for warmth during the harsh winter months. These regions are a testament to nature's resilience and diversity. Emperor penguins, for example, endure some of the coldest temperatures on Earth, showcasing incredible survival strategies. But these pristine environments are facing unprecedented challenges. The melting of icebergs in the Arctic and the breaking of ice shelves in Antarctica are visible signs of the rapid changes occurring in these regions. Climate change is rapidly altering the polar landscapes, threatening the delicate balance of life that has evolved over millennia. Glaciers are retreating, sea levels are rising, and the habitats of countless species are at risk. The future of these regions, and indeed the planet, depends on our understanding and action. Scientists and environmental activists are working tirelessly to study these changes and advocate for policies that can mitigate the impact of climate change. It is crucial for us to support these efforts and take meaningful steps to protect these vital parts of our world. Imagine a vast frozen ocean surrounded by the northernmost edges of continents. This is a place where the sun barely rises in winter and never sets in summer, creating a unique and extreme environment. This is the Arctic, a region centered around the North Pole. It is a place of stark contrasts, where the icy landscape meets the deep blue of the ocean. Unlike Antarctica, which is a continent in its own right, the Arctic is an ocean basin. This means that instead of a landmass covered by ice, we have an ocean covered by a floating ice sheet. Landmasses like Canada, Russia, Greenland, and several others ring this icy expanse. These countries have territories that extend into the Arctic, making them key players in the region. The Arctic Ocean itself remains frozen for most of the year, covered by a layer of sea ice that expands and contracts with the seasons. In winter, the ice can extend for miles, while in summer it retreats, revealing patches of open water. This ice is not a uniform sheet, however. It is a complex and dynamic structure, constantly changing and evolving. It is crisscrossed by cracks and leads, constantly shifting and moving with the currents and winds. These features create a mosaic of ice that is both beautiful and treacherous. This dynamic environment is both beautiful and unforgiving, a testament to the raw power of nature. The Arctic is a place of wonder and danger, where life has adapted to survive in one of the harshest climates on Earth. In stark contrast to the Arctic, Antarctica is a continent surrounded by ocean. It sits isolated at the southern end of our planet, a landmass larger than Europe and almost twice the size of Australia, completely covered by a thick ice sheet. This ice sheet, formed over millions of years from accumulated snowfall, holds about 90% of the world's freshwater. It drapes over the land, flowing towards the coast in massive glaciers that carve valleys and sculpt the landscape. These glaciers often carve into the Southern Ocean, creating the majestic icebergs that Antarctica is famous for. 
while both the Arctic and Antarctic are cold, the Arctic is significantly warmer than its southern counterpart. This difference stems from their fundamental geographical difference. Ocean versus continent. The Arctic Ocean, even when covered in ice, moderates temperatures, absorbing some of the sun's heat. Antarctica, on the other hand, is a massive landmass covered in ice. This ice reflects most of the sunlight back into space, leading to much colder temperatures. The continent is also characterized by strong winds that whip around the South Pole, further contributing to its harsh climate. Section 5. Arctic Landscapes, a Realm of Ice, Ocean and Life The Arctic landscape is a dynamic mix of ice and ocean, constantly changing with the seasons. In the winter, the sea ice expands, reaching its maximum extent around March. This frozen expanse is home to a surprising array of life. Polar bears, the apex predators of the Arctic, roam the ice, hunting seals that use breathing holes in the ice. Walruses haul themselves out onto ice flows, their massive tusks clinking together. Under the ice, a rich ecosystem thrives, with krill, fish, and other marine life supporting a complex food web. Section 6. Antarctic Wonders. A continent carved by ice and wind. Imagine a landscape sculpted by ice and wind, a vast expanse of white punctuated by towering mountains and icy plains. This is Antarctica, a continent almost entirely covered by a thick ice sheet. This ice sheet, flowing slowly over the land, carves out valleys, creates glacial lakes, and gives rise to massive ice shelves that extend out over the ocean. Despite the harsh conditions, life persists. Colonies of penguins, seals, and seabirds congregate on the coasts, relying on the rich southern ocean for food. Whales, including humpbacks and orcas, patrol the waters, feeding on krill and other marine life. Section 7. Human Touch in the Arctic. A Delicate Balance. Humans have inhabited the Arctic for millennia, with indigenous communities adapting to its harsh conditions. Today the Arctic is home to around 4 million people spread across 8 countries. But the Arctic is facing new challenges, as climate change impacts traditional ways of life and opens up new opportunities for resource extraction and shipping routes. The delicate balance of the Arctic ecosystem is under threat from pollution, climate change and increased human activity. Protecting this unique region requires international cooperation, sustainable practices, and a deep respect for the knowledge and resilience of the people who call the Arctic home. Section 8 Antarctica, a continent for science and cooperation. Unlike the Arctic, Antarctica has no indigenous population and remains a continent dedicated to peace and science. The Antarctic Treaty, signed in 1959, designates the region as a scientific preserve, free from military activity and territorial claims. This unique agreement has fostered international cooperation in research and conservation. Scientists from around the world converge on Antarctica to study its unique environment, its climate history, and its role in global systems. Research stations dot the continent, serving as hubs for scientific exploration and international collaboration. Antarctica stands as a testament to the power of cooperation and the importance of scientific research for the future of our planet. Section 9. Polar Regions and Our Planet – Sentinels of Change The Arctic and Antarctic, these icy bookends of our planet, are much more than just remote frozen landscapes. They are dynamic and vital components of Earth's climate system. They play a crucial role in regulating global climate, ocean currents, and sea levels. The polar regions act as Earth's refrigerator, helping to maintain the planet's temperature balance. The ice sheets reflect sunlight, helping to cool the Earth. This albedo effect is essential in preventing the planet from overheating. The polar oceans absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, acting as a vital carbon sink. This process helps to mitigate the effects of global warming by reducing the amount of CO2 in the air. However, these regions are on the front lines of climate change. The impacts are visible and alarming with ice melting at unprecedented rates. The Arctic is warming twice as fast as the global average, leading to shrinking sea ice, melting glaciers, and rising sea levels. This rapid warming is causing significant changes in the Arctic ecosystem, 
Antarctica too is experiencing ice shelf collapse and changes in its marine ecosystem. The loss of ice shelves can lead to the destabilization of the Antarctic ice sheet, contributing to global sea level rise. Understanding these changes is crucial, not just for the polar regions themselves, but for the future of our planet. Scientists are working tirelessly to study these areas, providing valuable data that can help us predict and mitigate the impacts of climate change.